So we're not having to propose a major intervention when we're trying to address some maybe smaller concerns that patients have. When we as plastic surgeons do fat grafting, we actually have to filter it or process it into very fine particles, almost liquefy it for the face. For the breast and body, we actually don't like to liquefy it. We want it more robust because that gives a little more structure. So when you're thinking about like the world's perfect filler, you want something that's exactly like your own human fat. When we talk about fat grafting, we suck out the fat, we have to process the fat, and then we place the fat, usually with injection with syringes, into your body, into your face, for various reasons. Welcome to the Beauty Scientist with Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. Hi, this is Dr. Roy Kim, part of the Beauty Scientist with the amazing Dr. Christy Hamilton, another board certified plastic surgeon. And we'll be talking about the final release into the public of Alloclay, which is an FDA approved product that is a regenerative sort of fat or adipose filler injectable. So Christy, I know that you've talked a lot about it in the past couple of weeks. So what exactly is Alloclay? We've been gearing up for this product. We've been waiting for it for a long time. So I'm really excited to have it in hand now. And it's a little different and much more natural than a lot of the products we've had before. So it's in essence a naturally derived filler. And I think it is the most like human fat, which is the ultimate filler, also the ultimate biostimulator and regenerative medicine, which is why you and I love that so much for facelifts, body contouring. It's on most of us fairly abundant. <laughs> so when you're thinking about like the world's perfect filler, you want something that's exactly like your own human fat. You would rather not have to do liposuction to get it. And you would like it to be very long lasting. And Aliclay has create this product that addresses many of those wishes. It is an off the shelf, human derived adipose like, which is fat like material. And it consists of fat cells from humans, from donors that are the interior of the cells have been removed. So there's no cellular context, no DNA from another person, as well as what the cells exist in, which is called the extracellular matrix. It's basically the support structure of those cells and the cells themselves, but minus the material that would incite an immune reaction. So unlike someone who gets a kidney transplant, you don't need to be on immunosuppressive drugs after receiving these injections. So really cool off the shelf fat. So how much do you get in a syringe or in a package? And that's the other thing that's really cool. So this product is designed, this iteration of the product is designed for body contouring, sculpting cleavage or doing hip dips or a more conservative EBL. And up until this point, the products we were using non-surgically for these procedures were geared towards the face and the volumes were very small and relatively expensive because you don't usually need a ton of volume for your face. But if you're doing a hip dip or trying to augment a buttock or boost a breast, you want more volume. So whereas most syringes, the facial products are one to maybe one and a half milliliters, this product is 12.5 milliliters per syringe. So it's significantly more product than we're used to getting. Gotcha. So, I mean, technically it is not fat. Technically it's an extremely fat-like product. So how long does it last? So colleagues I've talked to say at a year, it appears that 90% of it continues to be there. And once the swelling goes down after the first, you know, you kind of assess it a couple of weeks after injection and any bruising is gone, seems very consistent. So we're not seeing much of a drop off. It seems like what integrates right off the bat, which is about 90% will persist at a year and it's considered to be semi-permanent. Gotcha. So as you and I know, the best papers have shown we've retained maybe 80%. And let's be honest, I think it's more like 60 or 70% in the average patient. Um, 
So the fact that this is 90% after a year or 90% plus is actually very impressive. Really impressive. And I think maybe speaks to the fact that since they already processed, we do all sorts of things with the fact that we derive from liposuction to remove extra fluid and things like that. But this is just like a very consistent, very like concentrated product, but it behaves also in a surgeon's hands, like very similar to natural fat graft. So that makes it also an easy tool for plastic surgeons like you and I to employ because it's placed in the same way. That's great. I mean, for the listeners and viewers out there, when we talk about fat grafting, we suck out the fat, we have to process the fat, and then we place the fat, usually with injection with syringes, into your body, into your face for various reasons. With aloe clay, do you actually have to mix it or does it come sort of pre-mixed, you open up the package and it's ready to go? Comes in the syringe ready to go and is not intended to be manipulated. Oh, that's awesome. So it makes it very consistent. Yeah. So very thin patients who don't have fat for patients who simply don't want liposuction. Aloe clay sounds great. You just crack open the package under sterile conditions and then you can place it. Yeah. I'm really excited about it for patients that come in and maybe what they're wanting to address is something so small, like someone who's got implants, maybe they're a couple of years old, they can see a little bit of rippling if they're very thin. And before you're like, oh, wait, to take you all the way back, you know, hope you've got some fat between your inner thighs, like move that to your point, some of it will stay, some of it will not. And now it's like, oh, for that tiny little divot, we've got an off the shelf product. We can do it right here in the office. You know, I think, I think that's a great alternative. So we're not having to propose a major intervention when we're trying to address some maybe smaller concerns that patients have. And then I assume that it's safe to place not just in the breast body areas like that, but also the face and neck as well. So they're coming out with a different product called Dermaclay that I think they are going to make the consistency of that a little bit different and maybe the volume's a little bit smaller, but we don't have that product yet. Gotcha. This one's meant for body. So good to know. That's very important. Because when we do fat, again, for the listeners and viewers out there, when we as plastic surgeons do fat grafting, we actually have to filter it or process it into very fine particles, almost liquefy it for the face. For the breast and body, we actually don't like to liquefy it. We want it more robust because that gives a little more structure. So aloclase is definitely meant for the more structural areas of your body. Yes. And I imagine you can see it when you squeeze it out of the syringe stack it on itself. So it definitely, it's got that structure, like unprocessed body fat. That's exciting. If you're trying to build some projection on the buttock or the upper pole of the breast or augment the back of the hands, like some, it's got a little oomph to it. And that's definitely more than what we've seen with some of the current off the shelf products we have right now. Gotcha. What is the additional cost to the patient for the syringe or two of this product? The way that they price it depends on how much you are ordering, mm. but basically to get that first syringe, it also comes with a cannula system. Um, syringe is less because it doesn't require the cannula system. Right. And they give you disposable cannulas to use with them that they think are essential to the process. So I'll report back on that. Gotcha. And there's been another product, but it's not really a competing product. It's called Renuva from MTF Biologics. I think you and I both use it, Christy. It's a smaller volume. It's really meant for the face and for the neck areas. It's not really meant for breast or body. Yes, it's Renuva. I really like Renuva. And that was one of the reasons I was excited about Alicle. The Renuva, instead of having the wash fat cells and the extracellular matrix, it's just the extracellular matrix. But it comes in one and a half or three cc's as opposed to 12 and a half cc's and beyond. So I think that produced some really nice soft results and faces, very natural, doesn't have that doughy characteristic that a lot of filler can have if you're utilizing it. I think this is a great kind of class of products, both Renuva and Aloe Play. Hey, it's awesome that it's straight from the package. We can use it immediately as you know, it gives a lot of structure for breast, body, other areas that are non-face for contouring. And honestly, I think that this product sounds great. It's already out now. I mean, it's been FDA approved for over a year, but now they're finally shipping it. The 
patients ask, like, is it FDA approved? It's FDA regulated because it's not considered a drug because it is a human product. They hold themselves to the highest standards of tissue banks, but it's not technically ever going to get FDA approval because it's a natural tissue that's been processed. But yes, it's been out and about for about a year now. That's great. So I know they recently started shipping it. They were talking that it was coming out last year, but that was last year. Sounds like it has been in the hands of plastic surgeons for a couple months now. Yeah, as I think their study sites, they've had it for just over a year, yeah. and then they're now rolling it out across the country. Yeah, It'll be it's interesting to hear everyone's collective experience, especially over time. Yeah, but they told us last year it's hard to know. And then Dermaclay, they were originally saying that was going to come out end of this year. I would say, given the fact that Aloclay hasn't been formally rolled out entirely. Mm. Yeah, that probably won't be until next year. Yeah, I know that they stated they want, of course, it's FDA regulated. They want the highest quality controls. They were having issues with creating a lot of volume. So there are definitely quality centers and testing centers available. And I know certain plastic surgeons were able to get it, but it wasn't quite the massive rollout that they wanted only because of maintaining that high quality. Yeah, and I think they're anticipating a pretty high demand. So some people don't have any fat to liposuction or or it's going to leave an obvious. So I think this is great for patients that don't want to have liposuction at all or don't want to have any more liposuction. Yeah, I mean, you don't have enough fat for liposuction. I feel really bad for you. But you're right. There are some patients like that. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a personal problem, but yeah, or just some people, you know, after they've had liposuction, it's not great. You, you and I know this when we've gone in and done corrective liposuction for patients, it is no fun going back into someone who's already had liposuction to try to even them out or, or whatever it is, extract a little bit more. Like that's, that's not, that's not great. And it's a more difficult recovery for patients too. This is great. Anyone who does a lot of revisional body contouring cases, I think is going to be happy to have this as an option too. Yeah, I totally agree. Thanks for delving into this and knowing so much about Alaclay. And for the listeners out and viewers out there, now you know that it's an off-the-shelf product. It is technically not fat, but it can be used for fat grafting. It's safe and it's out there. So as always, if you have any comments or questions, please let us know. And as always, stay beautiful. Stay beautiful. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.